Tell them what's going on. You ready for the night? You ready for the night? Well, of course. There you you know. know. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sound like you just rolled out of bed. <laughs> nah, who you been on the um the LA game? Craig wants the Los Angeles Lakers LA, to win. Baby, LA. All right, that's my boy right there. Let's Everybody... rock out with the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? I, I, did, I did the voodoo last night, and you see what happened, right? They caught up, and they surpassed them. No, Derek Fisher made it all happen, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hear he's half Haitian, so uh, I'm telling you, man. All my Haitians out there in Connecticut and Boston. Stop Yeah, voodoo time, baby. L.A. all the way. Uh, listen, while you're on the phone, we have to ask you some stuff real quick about G-Unit, okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, I got this uh, little thing today from This Is 50 that said that War Angel, the LP, is coming soon. It's actually going to be out on Tuesday. Yep. So tell me about this, and why is 50 putting out a mixtape rather than giving us an album? Nah, he's he's still working on his album. You know, he's he, he's finally uh, actually the album is actually done. Really? Like, yeah, he's, he's actually tweaking it. They're just tweaking like the the beats and the, and, and the sounds, but the whole album is done. He's just putting out a mixtape to start the fire because you know it is summertime and, and you know and then the, the the it's just like crack, man. It's a drought, man. There hasn't been a a hot mixtape in a while that could run the streets heavy and you know and just do that time. But it's, uh, the album is done though. Okay, so how do we get this? We have to go to the website and download it. No, <laughs> well the album, well the mixtape you could download, but not the um the album. No, I know. I'm talking about the mixtape Tuesday. Oh, I, th- I thought you said the album. No. Oh. Of course, I'm sure you're already leaking it, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, bring it tonight. <laughs> uh, War Angel, it's called. Um, the album and- on me. Uh, if you want to check it out, Craig, I got the album on me. All right, we'll listen to it. Yeah, I would like that. Uh, War Angel is the, uh, is the mixtape, and it says, prepare for total destruction. What does that mean? Oh, my God. You know, somebody always got to be buried whenever we come out. So I'm just going to let everybody just get ready for the... I saw, I heard that he said something like to MTV that he's done with Rick Ross. So who could y'all be like looking at now to like try to destroy their career? I mean, I don't know, man. You, what you do is figure out who's still relevant, who's still rapping, and then and then you. <laughs> who's still relevant? Who's still rapping? Well, who Eminem could it just be? sold six hundred thousand. I don't know. Y'all ain't gonna go with him. Yeah. So we, <laughs> I doubt that. He's the only one selling right now. Well, definitely, definitely not Eminem, but uh, have your fans call up and, and figure out who, who you think we should bury. I mean, I mean, it's kind of obvious, you know. I don't know. It is. It's obvious. I don't know if it's so obvious. I don't know who. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo, you know, the fans know. Okay. Oh, Little Wayne. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, yo, yeah, I want yeah. to spoil it for all the people out there, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm assuming Little Wayne. Wow. So, fifty gonna go at Little Wayne. I mean, you know, but you know, Lil Wayne always, you know, he always cops a play. He, you know, he has his uh, daddy always calls up and uh, talks for him and states that, you know, he, ain't, Lil Wayne, don't have time for beef. He's all worried about money and and pills and and rock music. <laughs> Not really worried about like, beef and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, and and and, and the chick that handles his weave, you know, he, you know, he's worried about his hair right now. Not worried about. <laughs> You are a hilarious little kid. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the police officer, Rick Ross, you know. I just want to tell you, too, I read somewhere where you're, there's issues between you and Nas, and I hope that's not true because, I, we. I mean, I'm just a huge Nas supporter. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Nas fan, and I, and I love Nas. I, I just, uh, you know what it is? They were supposed to edit that, and they did it. <laughs> what What was it? Oh, you mean out of a video? It out there, yeah. It was supposed to be an edited situation, and the edit got leaked. I was interviewing Tia. Rick Ross's uh, baby moms, and then we were talking about uh, this, this this action that Nas did to me, and I just said that his actions was vaginal, and I just felt like it was, you know. But don't you think that him saying no, he doesn't want to come up on your show because of 50 going at him? I mean, don't you think that he's right in saying that? Because you are associated with 50 Cent. Yeah, but I, I was with him before 50, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was more of a relationship-wise where, I mean, this, there's like tons of artists, 50 berries, and I know the lines where some of the, you know, I know the lines. I can't have John Woo on my show, obviously, but everybody else that he buries, you know, I have relationships with. Mm-hmm. So he's just one of the artists. Like he's probably the only artist that I kind of like cared about to try to get on the show because of his, his historical background. Wow, who cared? We'll see you tonight. 
And we really need that before I self-destruct album. Is that what it's still called? I'll be there. I'll be there. I hope, you know, I hope all the beautiful ladies will be out there to get it cracking, you know, and, you know, hopefully I, I will Twitter them tonight, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Did you mean, like, Twitter, like, in a sexual way just now? <laughs> Say the other words, you know. It, it... <laughs> <laughs> or, it, or it rhymes with twit. <laughs> and, and the album is Before I Self-Destruct, correct? Uh, yes. Oh, shout out to 50 Cent. Album is unbelievable. And it's done. So, you know. This... I, I, I read somewhere where he said something like, um, I'm trying to test my music out to see how people react. Yeah, I mean, you know, but that's that's like common. That's like the common thing every artist does. You know? Yeah, but I, I don't know. It seems like he lets so much like information out sometimes where I don't know. I mean, look, but look, look, check out Lil Wayne. He leaked out like 15, 20 records like before he figured out which one, which song popped, which it kind of worked out for him because he has so many records out there that's working for him, even now. Right. And you got Drake. He has all this other stuff going on. There's like 10 Lil Wayne records out there, and you can see it physically in the club. Like, you know, the, he's rocking the club. So. We will see you there tonight, who kid? We're going to have a good time, pal. Bye. All right, yo,